I quit. Yeah. I quit. This is like the third time I've tried to record this video. It's been difficult to figure out because I have a lot of things I want to say and it's tough to find the words for those things. And I've been trying to do this over and over until I get it kind of right, but whatever. I quit teaching in schools. If you've been in my classes recently, then you've heard about this already. But if you're one of my former students from a ways back, maybe from Altair, from Raimondi or from somewhere else, then this is news to you. And uh, I want to tell you why. I want to go back a little bit. I've been teaching in schools for about 10 years now. I, I went into more detail on that live stream on Monday. So if you caught that, you know a little bit more about my job history. It was fun. I enjoyed working with young people. I enjoyed the stuff that I was teaching. I learned a lot in those first few years and I wanted to get better and I wanted to progress through the career. I, I got my degree in education. You know, I, I thought getting that was like the final thing, you know, like I would have my degree and then finally I would get some respect around here and it wasn't that. And that kind of leads me to my problem. I've been contemplating alternatives since late 2018. I was getting really frustrated with how I was being treated because of my methods and my approach to things. And this is a recurring theme. In my experience working in Peru, it doesn't matter how good you are. It doesn't matter if you're a great teacher or you're a mediocre teacher or you're an average teacher or if you're a shit teacher. As long as you just do whatever you're told. If you just do whatever you're told, you'll keep your job and no one will ever question you. I can't do that. I'm not that person. I have a problem deep inside, which is I wanna make things better. I wanna do things right. I do not rest until I feel that I have done a very, very good job. I'm pretty sure that you would agree that I do a pretty good job. It's frustrating to me that despite my results and the positive feedback that I get, that I'm always being forced to do things the way the school wants, like there's school policy. And if I don't do it according to school policy, then I'm doing it wrong. A lot of the places I have worked for, with very few exceptions, do not do things in the best way. For speaking out against things that I think are wrong, I'm a problem. And that's very frustrating. I'm, I'm kind of tired of doing things the wrong way because I'm being told to do them that way. I refuse to do that now. And that speaks to a bigger issue, which is just how teachers are treated in these schools. Again, I, I, I do say with some exceptions, and even though I have 10 years of experience, a degree in education, and I have really good results. I'm still treated like a new teacher, and so are my colleagues. Imagine being a doctor, and you get your degree in medicine, and you work in a hospital for 10 years, and then you change jobs. And on day one, they sit you down, and they have this long training session where they ask you questions like, what is medicine? You're just treated like someone who just started the job and has no idea what they're doing. I've come into jobs and been kind of given that same treatment over and over again. And that leads me to realize something else that frustrates me about teaching, which is that there's really no room for advancement. If you stay in the same job, you can move up. But it could take decades. If you want to move up from just being a regular teacher to like a coordinator position, you basically have to wait for someone to leave or die. It doesn't matter if the person who's actually in that position is doing a good job or not, they will not change them. If they do, they'll probably just pick the person who's been there the longest. So essentially, ascension in education is a waiting game. It's a test of patience. There's no respect for our time. Because it's not just a job from eight to four. It's a job for your whole life. And that's the other problem. I, the thing I can't stand is like, okay, we have X amount of teaching hours during the week, but then those hours where we're not teaching are sort of seen like wasted time if the school doesn't give us something to do. I need hours in the day where I can plan my lessons and correct work and reflect on what I've done. And I don't get that time because it's being filled with all these other things. So when am I supposed to do those things? evenings, weekends, it, it doesn't make sense. So I come to this realization that like, there's nowhere to go for me now. I'm, I've been teaching, I've been struggling with schools that don't wanna let me be me. I'm not happy with it. Like at the end of the day, I wanna be happy with my work. I wanna enjoy what I do. If every day I get up and just think, man, this could be so much better. I could be doing it this way. I could have more fun doing this. I wish I could do this, but I can't. I'm not happy, you know? I don't get to do all the things I want to do, and I don't get to do them my way. And while I realize that schools do need to have some policies for some things, 
They don't really seem to appreciate the fact that teachers need freedom and flexibility and that we need the space to be creative. Our job is not a mechanical factory job. It is a job that requires a lot of critical thinking, a lot of innovation. And it's one that I think is crushed by so many school systems. And that pains me because like, I really do genuinely love teaching. And that's one of the reasons why I'm not gonna stop completely. I'm still gonna teach, but by my rules. And that's why I wanted to make this video because this is a, this is a thank you. This is a big thank you to everybody. If you're watching this, thank you. Because I, I really was starting to think that I would never be able to get where I wanted to be in education and that I would just be stuck in it. The last thing I wanted to do was see my quality of work drop. That's why I left. I, I, I wanted to leave before that happened because I could feel it happening. And it's also worth pointing out that I left because I had to. I mean, SCORE has gotten bigger. My people need me. There's so much I wanna do with SCORE that I can't do if I'm constantly worrying about teacher stuff. So yeah, I, uh, I'm done teaching in schools. But the only reason I can say that and still have food on the table and a roof over my head is because of you. If you're a subscriber or not, if you've watched a single minute of a single video, if you have checked out prepwithscore.com once, or if you're actively enrolled in one of our programs, like this is for you, thank you. You make this possible and you've given me an out. You've given me this chance to do something different, something that I think will actually make me happier. That's, that's special. Like, I didn't think I would have this a year ago, and now I do. And I have had to make some difficult decisions, but like, they're ones that I'm happy to make, ones that I think are the right decisions for me. And I also want to give a big shout out to Tabo and Pili for just, you know, being the rest of score. Like, I am a small piece in your machine, and if it were not for you guys, this would not exist. You brought this into my life with your ideas, and we have made something amazing out of it, and I hope it never dies. Everybody else who works for SCORE, all the people we've added to the team, we're gonna make sure you get introduced to this channel soon and properly. It's what you deserve. You're amazing people and I'm proud to have you on the team. And I want you to get the best introduction possible. For anybody else watching this, just know that like, I don't wanna quit this. This is gonna continue. And I think it's gonna be awesome. I think we're gonna do some amazing things. So I can't wait for you to see the next set of videos from the United States. It's gonna be interesting. We're gonna be doing a lot of cool stuff and it's all thanks to you. So this is my appreciation video. Thank you video slash why I quit teaching school.